Good to go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. I'm drinking from my Our Lady of Guadalupe coffee mug, and I'm standing beside the statue of St. Peter because I'm here at the St. Peter's site. As you know, we are a parish with two locations. Our main location, our central location is here at the St. Peter's site, and the other location of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, I know there's lots of names, is in North Dartmouth. It's about a, a mile and a half from here, maybe two miles. Don't quote me on that, something like that. Uh, and that is the St. Anthony's location. And at the St. Anthony's location, we've spoken about that in recent weeks. That's where we have a lot of our outreach to the poor is based out of that location. Uh, it's where we have our food bank, it's where we have the emergency homeless shelters, where we have the House of Hope, where we have our partnership with the uh, with uh, the Mobile Food Mart and a couple of other partners as well. So there's a lot of activity in that, in that location, but that activity does not exhaust everything that our parish does in service of the poor. We have, out of this location, uh, uh, teams that go to Margaret's House, which is a local uh, food bank, which is just about half a mile from here. Uh, they, I think twice a month we have teams who, 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 who do that. And uh, we also have a ministry that serves meals at a, a number of the local halfway houses. But another feature of our outreach to the poor was done by the St. Vincent de Paul Society for many, many years out of this location. St. Vincent de Paul Society uh, served they, uh, about 40 families a month. They would take groceries and food and other assistance to, to, to homes, and they would put on an annual Christmas uh, supper and also operated a food pantry. Now, if you're a regular at our, at our parish, you'll often see on the weekends people will bring bags of groceries, uh, dry goods, uh, non perishable items, which would be for the pantry. Now, sadly, uh, this past summer, the St. Vincent de Paul Society membership voted to actually, well, no longer exist as a group. Now, the people still exist, <laughs> they didn't disappear. And they're still passionate about serving the poor, and for the, many of them are still around. The reason they decided to no longer exist as a, as a society is that they, they didn't really have anyone to step up to come into leadership to lead that ministry because St. Vincent de Paul is actually a national, actually an international organization, and with that comes a lot of, a lot of work, uh, paperwork, etc., because they exist separately from the parish. They, they are connected to a parish, but are really a separate organization. So we decided to say, well, how can we make the best of this situation? And we decided to retain the food pantry. Now, uh, some of you have been asking about that, but we are now calling it officially Our Lady of Guadalupe Food Pantry. And we are planning uh, in the next couple of weeks to uh, begin to have regular hours in which this food pantry would be in operation. We're looking at uh, on Sundays between our two morning masses and once a month during the week to put word out that the, uh, there is food available for those in need. And even presently, we are getting a number of regular customers, customers, people in need who come to our door. And we're able to say, you need food, we'll be right back and we can go down and fill up a bag and, and help those who are in need. So I just want to, give you a little tour because uh, uh, we have to go through the side door here so follow me let's see if I can uh, hold my coffee cup and open the door at the same time mm, this could be tricky oh. oh look at that I did it didn't spill a drop either okay after you So we're actually in the area now behind the, the sanctuary. This is the sacristy where we get ready for Mass just there. In case you've never been back here, uh, down that corridor is where we have the children's liturgy of the Word. You can see the mats on the floor. So in case you've wondered what is on the other side of these doors, this is the area back here 
where the altar servers will get ready for mass and they've got the altar servers uh, albs. Now behind that door, if you've ever wondered what is behind that door, well come with me. This is the food pantry. And uh, whew, there's a little smell in here. Anyway, I think we may have a, um, there's occasional mouse around here. So uh, uh, I think that might be the smell. Now, in addition to the, this being the, <laughs> the electronic nerve center, the communications nerve center of our parish with all the, all the wires, just forget that stuff. But uh, you'll see that uh, this is where we keep a lot of the, the donations that you bring. Uh, as you can see, all non-perishable items. Now, at different times, the, the, the stockpile of food can, can it, the shelves can be full and they can be empty. And as you know, coming up is Thanksgiving weekend and Thanksgiving Monday. And here's my request that on that weekend, uh, that if, if we could maybe bring a number of items and donate them and just leave them. We have this little uh, cart, this grocery cart that uh, sits in the foyer. So if you can leave the groceries in the cart and we will bring them in and get them on the shelf and be able to help those who, who need them. So that's Our Lady's Pantry. That's what we're gonna call it, Our Lady's Pantry. And it is actually in operation right now in our parish and we hope to uh, give it a bit of a higher profile. So the legacy of the work of the members of St. Vincent de Paul uh, is, is, is this ongoing uh, ministry. If you'd like to find out more about Our Lady's Pantry and its operation, or maybe even to be involved in it, why don't you reach out and uh, send an email to Brian. Brian is our social outreach coordinator. You can see his email right here. So Thanksgiving weekend, Thanksgiving Monday, we'll be having 9 a.m. Mass and it'd be wonderful as an expression of our gratitude and the bounty that God has gifted us with if you could bring a few items for those who are less fortunate. Thanks everyone and God bless.